Hello and welcome to OMB Warehouse, home of the Grey Goat Garage. Today I'm going to show you how to change a belt on one of these uh, popular torque converters. Um, this is our aftermarket unit. Um, it's a very solid piece, works very well, but we will have some wear items in this unit. Um, three in particular, first being the belt, the bronze bushing, the idler bushing for this, and also these nylon buttons here in the driven unit. So first off, let me show you how to change your belt. For this, you're gonna need a half inch socket so you can take the nut off the end of the crank. Once you have the nut, the, I mean the bolt and the stepped washer off the engine, then you can pull the cover. Um, I always like to make sure that this is relatively clean on the inside here. Um, it will have a little bit of stuff in here, but not a big deal. Just make sure that there's not too much junk in there. At this point, we can slide the outside clutch, driver clutch off, and this is the part that has the angled side to it. We can pull the sheave off. Now simply rotate the belt a little bit, try and keep that bushing in place, and the belt comes right off. You'll notice on these belts that there's two distinctly different sides. One side is flat and the other side has an angle to it. The angle on these belts always goes to the outside of the engine. And you can look at these clutches and see that one side of the clutch has a bevel to it and the other side is flat. Match everything up. Keep the, keep the flat side to the flat side of the belt and the bevel side to the bevel of the belt. Very easy. I'll go ahead and reinstall this. So once you have your belt off, take a look at this bronze idler bushing. Uh, just make sure it's in good shape. Uh, you could use a couple drops of oil in here. What I don't want to see is a lot of oil that's going to radiate out from here and travel up the, the face of this um, pulley or the face of this pulley. So just a couple light drops in here, wipe it down. You can reinstall this right here. Again, I'm going to take my belt with the flat side towards the engine. I'm going to put it on the driven pulley. We've got a driver here, driven here. And I'm just going to push it in a little bit just to make sure it's seated in there. At that point, I can take and I can move it over. And these belts are very stiff, so if you give a little bit of a squeeze here, you'll go right over that bushing. And that's the, the, the proper alignment for that. I'm going to reinstall my sheave here with the flats. There's one side with no flats. This side has flats on it. I'm going to install it with the flats out. Very important that you put the outside of the driver clutch on dry, meaning no lubricant in here, no lubricant here. This is meant to be dry, so this piece slides freely on here. If you had oil or grease on there, it will attract dust and dirt, and then it'll make this not slide very well, and your clutch won't work very well. At that point, we can put the cover back on with indexing the flats to the flats on the sheave. We've got our stepped washer here that we're gonna rotate until we get to the keyway and it won't spin. Then I always put this in by hand and get it seated down. Once it's seated down, you can get your torque wrench or half inch wrench, just tighten it down, and that's all there is to it. Now you've just put a new belt onto the torque converter, and this will get you going again. Um, the belts don't last forever, especially if you have the wrong rear sprocket and your engine's working too hard. It's just going to slip the belt and wear the belt out prematurely. Thank you for stopping by OMB Warehouse, and don't forget to visit us online at ombwarehouse.com, or you can come over and hang out with us at oldminibikes.com. Thanks again, and stop back by the Grey Goat Garage. Thank you.